Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Checking in on SPY, IWM, and QQQ. So we finally have lost the daily middle Bollinger Band for the first time in two and a half months on SPY. And we saw for the third day in a row, a week pre-market session, the bulls buying the dip at the open. But the difference today is we didn't close near the high. We did have a little bit of bearish action at the end of the day. So a little bit of shift in momentum in the way things are going. This is just normal, healthy daily consolidation at this point. We have a bearish TCG cross of these exponential moving averages for the first time in over three months. So that's also something we are noting. And we're just looking to form lower highs and lower lows in healthy consolidation unless we see big bear volume telling us otherwise. So the last lower high that was set was 258.59. That's anything that we bounce, if we bounce, anything under 258.59 is just another lower high. On the weekly time frame, very healthy consolidation. This could be a bull flag before continuation. So we need to distinguish the weekly long-term trend has nothing to worry about at this point, but the daily trend definitely is shifting to favor consolidation. IWM, the shift to favor consolidation occurred at 147.22. That's essentially a bit of a heads up for the rest of the markets now at this point where we broke that level and we've been seeing weakness now six days in a row since then. We're seeing lower highs every day and lower lows frequently. So our new support is the low of today, 144.50. The next support level I'm looking at after that is 144.18. In terms of resistance, the lower highs every day. So the bulls have to break 146.21 to break that lower high daily pattern, which right now is definitely favoring the bears as exponential resistance is driving the price down. Weekly chart for IWM, potential for a bearish MACD cross. Last time we saw that, we didn't see a ton of downside. It was, it was only a few weeks of pullback. We've already been pulling back for a month at this point, and the middle Bollinger Band support looks like it could come into play over the next couple of weeks. So again, no red flag after the huge run that we had here on IWM. We can pull back anywhere above 140 and still be very strong. So there's no worries long-term bulls. QQQ broke the higher low from Thursday, so we now have a little lower high and lower low by losing 152.11 support. We've got the middle Bollinger Band catching up. I'm looking at support of 151.78 and 150.77 after that. Bearish MAC decross is occurring. Last time we had that bearish MAC decross, we had consolidation for about seven days. And last time before that, we had consolidation. It was for about five days. So no big pullback again, no red flags, healthy weekly consolidation. We've been running for seven weeks in a row. We need to consolidate and take a breather. And that's what we're seeing the starting signs of. So it's going to be a little bit harder to be as bullish as we have been with the, you know, keeping in the back of our mind that as long as SPY's daily middle Bollinger Band is resistance, we are in consolidation mode. And if we backtest and reject from that level before the end of this week, that will confirm that we are in consolidation mode. So I appreciate you watching. We'll continue to check back in. See you tomorrow.